Hi my lovely viewers, how are you guys doing today? We finally have another unboxing uh, video on my channel. I have not unboxed anything in quite a long time. Life has been crazy, I've been working like crazy, and then I got COVID, and then I got over COVID, it took a long time. And then we went camping, and now I'm finally making a video, getting ready for work, and going out for six days tomorrow. Um, but we're gonna do Fat Fit Fun Summer today. Here's what the box looks like. It is beautiful purple with uh, all those colorful popsicles. Let me go ahead and dive right into it and see what it looks like. Let's put that on the inside. And we've got the brochure, which has not been listing prices or um, having what categories each thing came in. Um, make sure, nope, it does not. So I did go ahead and quickly go on their website and take notes. So hopefully I got everything right. It's kind of confusing when you look on there, when you view my box, it kind of lists everything. And then I went over to orders and it does have customizations. And um, then it has your additional things, but it doesn't tell you what category your additional things were in. So I'm gonna do my best to go through this and tell you what I picked for my primary choice, if I got anything additional. And I have so many add-ons, we're gonna go ahead and do that in a completely different video. So let's dive right in the, let's look at my notes, just so I try to get them um, go in the correct choice. Um, for the choice one, um, customization one, they had an item where you actually had to pay 10 extra dollars for. It wasn't an add-on item, it was like, it was $10 more because it was worth $189.95. So, um, so that makes the box, instead of, I guess, um, annual, so instead of $50, that would make the box um, $60 for the month because I paid 10 extra dollars. So let's see if I can find that in here. We did get some cute stickers. They've been doing that lately. Um, here's a code if anybody wants $15 off their first box, first come, first serve. And then we do a couple advertisements. Got some liquid IV. Let me take that to work with me. I'm going tomorrow. I do like that. It's kind of sweet. Um, I don't know, daily harvest. I've not tried this. If anyone has, let me know if that's any good. And then, I don't know, wine club or something, but here we go. Customization one. I picked the Foxy Bay. I've got two of these already. I've got the Revlon one, which is good, but it gets really hot. And then I also have the Soleil, I think, one, which also gets hot. And this one's supposed to have a setting, which is not quite as hot as the rest. Um, so I'm happy to try this. If I like this the best, I'm going to keep this one at home and put one of the other ones in my suitcase to have with me when I go to work. But customization one, I picked this, which cost, again, 10 extra dollars, but I'm starting out my box with $189.95, where if it costs even with that 60 bucks for the box, it's pretty good. And let's go ahead and see. Customization two, I picked the Neoprene Beach Tote by Somersault. Is that what that says? The A is upside down. Somersault. That's kind of cute. And I did pick this um, because we do a lot of beach vacations and this is supposed to be kind of like waterproof. So I thought this would be nice to have just to pack in my suitcase and you can take it to the beach or the pool. And then if your towels are wet or whatever, when you put them in there, um, it won't matter. But it looks like that. It's really cute. It's got little striped handles. And it feels like a really nice, heavy-duty uh, material. Kind of feels like um, those things called that you wear if you're a surfer. The I don't know what the word is, but uh, kind of feels like that. But it's really cute. I like the colors, and um, I figured that would be useful. I almost picked the towel. Um, I think by um, who's that by Lily Pulitzer? Maybe it was really cute. But I didn't want to pay an extra, I think it would have been $15 or $10 for that. Um, I was going to have to get both because I really wanted that um, that bag, the beach bag. And so I just skipped the towel. And then it looks like in number three, I picked the Dr. Brandt. I do like Dr. Brandt. And this is from the DNA line, Do Not Age. This is their Time Defying Cream Anti-Aging Cream. Oh, and I forgot to tell you that neoprene tote supposedly is worth $80. This um, Dr. Brandt cream is $132. And I have tried this before, I have liked it. It's been a few years, but I figured to pick this in a box. Um, cost $60 for me, and this is worth $132. That is definitely get bang for your buck, and I do like it, and I will definitely use it. So that was my third customization. And in my fourth one, it looks like I picked the Wish 
Firming Sleep Mask. Looks like that. And it's an overnight smoothing um, sheet mask, intense moisturizing, calming, and soothing. So I do like Wish. And this is a really nice, kind of small bottle that I could um, take to work with me. Let's go ahead and look at the packaging on this one. Just looks like the other packaging is very simple. Got a little glare right there, but I would definitely use this. And I don't know if I've tried this before, but I do like the sleeping mask. You just kind of layer them on, you fall asleep, and when you wake up, your face looks a lot smoother. I did forget to open this one for you guys because I do like Dr. Brand's packaging. It just looks cute. It's got like that bubble. And then your product is right in there. So you do see this is the only product you get. This is just fun packaging. It makes it look a lot bigger than it actually is. But ah, if I can get it back on right, that is. Let's see. Maybe you can only put it on a certain way. Guess I have it on there. Anyway, I enjoy the packaging of the Dr. Brand stuff, so that is cute. All right, category number five, I did pick the Ahava, which I do like the brand Ahava. Um, it just looks like that. And it is the Essential Day Moisturizer, time to hydrate for normal to dry skin. Um, the Wish retail value was $58. I'm all over the place. I haven't done this in a while, guys, and I'm out of practice, so I'm sorry. I'm trying to get all the information out. It's just not quite going in order. So the Wish was $58. The Ahava was a retail value of $69, and uh, again, I did get the dry to normal, and I like Ahava. This is a nice little tube to carry around at work, um, or we'll use it at home. And who can't use a nice moisturizing day cream? And I guess you probably use this at night, too. Um, all right, last category for category six, I picked the Multi-Wear Rep. And I just think I picked this because I didn't really like anything else in that category. I can't remember what the other choices were. That's why I really wish in that magazine they would tell us. Um, and I'm not going to open this in case it ends up being a gift. But it is Virginia Woolf. It looks like that. That is the print of the sarong. And it's just like a um, wrap sarong. You can use it like just tie it around your waist or tie it around your neck. Turn it into like a little dress. And it's just a beach cover-up. Which will go perfect with my beach bag. So... This would be like considered just my base box if I didn't add anything extra. So for $60, I got the Foxy Bay, $189.95 retail value. I got the Beach Tote, $80 value. I got the Sarong, which I forgot to tell you guys, of course, is uh, worth $60. The Multi-Wear Wrap is what they're calling it. I got the Dr. Brandt, $132 value. I got the Ahaba, which is a $69 value, and I got the Wish Sperming Cream Sleep Mask, whatever, which is $58. So really for a $60 box, I think that was amazing. I like that it was pretty much all summer themed, and I feel like I got some great choices for my box, and I'm really happy about this Fat Fit Fun Summer Box. So tell me what you guys think. Did you enjoy the summer box this year? Did you think um, there have been better ones in the past? I do like, I feel like they're getting a little bit more themed for the actual season that the box is in. And with um, All True Going Out of Business, pretty much FabFitFun is one of the only choices, I guess, for like a lifestyle box that's around 50, 60, 45, 50, 60 dollar range. Um, and I'm probably gonna keep it at least for one more year and then we'll go from there. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to figure out what this stuff is this is extra stuff that add on for the customization it's not add on from the add on sales so um i think for category three maybe i added on this new balance wheel it's an ab wheel it's small and compact i could take it to work with me and i'm going to try to start getting a little bit more in shape i have not been working out or doing anything and it's actually showing so figured for 10 bucks i added this and I will definitely try to use that, and I can take it to work with me. It's not heavy, it's small, and you can just use that in your hotel room. And I believe that was from category three. I also added the um, IGK Legendary Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, that wheel, I think, has a retail value of 30. I got it for 10. This has a retail value of 62. I added it on for $15. I believe it was in customization number one or two. I think those two are always $15. And I really do like the IGK stuff I've used in the past. So for $15, I've got another shampoo and conditioner. And I really love using these Lux brands at, you know, a really good price. 
Um, I believe this maybe was in category three. I have used this before. I do like Tula. I am always looking for a sunscreen that I like that doesn't make my other skincare kind of pill up when I put it on. I have that problem a lot. Um, you'll put on your sunscreen and then you'll rub your face and it'll kind of like all make little um, pills, I guess is the word for it. And I think I've used this in the past and it's the Protect and Glow SPF 30. I added these for $10 and I picked three because I think I like this. I really hope I'm right. Um, and I know I've used one before. So, and this was $36 each, and I got them for $10, and I added three. I also added on, I think this would have been in category one or two, it's the Pro Collagen Night Cream by Elemis, and I believe this had a value of $100, and I added it for $15, and I have used this, and I do like it. So, um, it's a night cream. I think I've used the day cream, the marine day cream. So, I will definitely give this a try, and um, for the... $100 for 15 bucks, you definitely can't beat that. That's 85% off. So that one's maybe category one or two, an additional choice, like I said. And then the next three are in category either four, five, or six. Um, I think category five and four usually are $7 extra, and then six is back up to the $10. But I picked the Sea Salt and Citrus Candle by Lasting Smiles, and this had a value of $45, and I added it for seven. I added a second of the Ahava cream. You could have picked combination skin or you could have picked the normal to dry. I got this one for my son. He does need moisturizers for his face, even though he's got some breakouts. His face still gets really dry, so I got that for him. And last thing, I also got this for my son. It is the Dr. Brandt Pore Clarifying Cleanser. He loves this stuff and um, retail value of 36 and I got it for seven. So I would definitely give him those two things. He's got a nice cleanser, a nice moisturizer to use through the summer. And that was it from the box. I will definitely do another video. That's all my add-ons. Hopefully I can find the retail values of all those things and figure that out. And I did look on, when I told you I looked at view my box, um, it said I added some kind of mystery surprise for $15, which I guess I'll figure out what that would have been in um, my add-on sale because I'll figure out what did I know that I did not actually pick myself and that would be the surprise. Thought it was going to be in the box but i guess it isn't but that is it for my summer um that fit fun box please let me know what you think do you think that this is an amazing subscription it's i know I, a lot of times it's just kind of meh and sometimes it's great and sometimes it's amazing i figured this was probably one of my favorite summer boxes i think i've got from them i have to think back on some of the other ones i've gotten but that is it for tonight. I hope you guys are doing great. I will try to go ahead and get this video edited and put it up for you guys. And I will try to keep making videos. Like I said, I'll be gone for six days and I'll be back when I come home. I think I'm only on for four days, but I will try to make a few videos then and get caught up and keep going. I hope you like the collaboration I was able to do with the Dollar Tree Summer Fun. Um, I have picked the giveaway winner. I need to put that video up as well. Um, but I hope you guys are doing great and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.